What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina, and we are in beautiful North Carolina, Zone 7B in the garden. I'm going to be showing you guys how to grow sweet potatoes. It all starts with growing sweet potato slips, which is not something I see. Actually, I've never seen it in any of the farmer's markets uh, locally. That's why I had to grow my own, and it's super easy. You're gonna be able to do it, I promise you. Right here, we have some sweet potatoes that I have sprouted and put in soil, and I continually let them grow, and I take slips from them as, uh, they get, as these uh, sprouts get tall out of here. And I'm gonna show you, I'm about to fill this little jug with water, and we're gonna place them in there. We're gonna check back in a few days. Uh, at the roots that have grown in them and I will take you through the next steps when that happens. All right, I've just taken one of my potted sweet potatoes and taken it into the shade so I can show you guys how to do this without sweating to death. So as you can see, um, I've put this potato in some soil and the sweet potato vines have been growing straight from the potato. And what we're gonna do is take one of these you can actually see some of the roots get right here some of the roots coming off of these vines i'm just going to snap this from the potato and as you can see one of those roots stayed with us so that's pretty awesome you want to try to get a little bit of the roots to stay and we're just going to place it in this container of water that i've got right here We're gonna take a take a few more. So I want to get this long one right here, since it's already grown so much. So I sometimes am not that gentle with this. I find that you don't have to be. So I'm gonna take this one has a lot of roots, and I'm holding the camera at the same time. So this will be a lot easier for you guys to do. This one probably actually could be planted straight away because it's got this awesome root set on it. But I'm just going to put this straight in water so that it doesn't wilt and die. And I'll probably plant that one this evening. But this one, this first one that I pulled, we're going to let it grow some more roots before I set that out into a raised bed or out into the mound, potato mound that I've built in the garden. I've just filled this container up with a couple inches of water and that's all you need. If it gets cloudy in a few days, just make sure to change that water out. And so what you do, we're just going to toss this uh, root set out and I can take a few more if I want to. That's what is awesome about just uh, potting a sweet potato is that it will continually grow your slips and you can plant them in succession if you want to if you have a, a long enough growing season here in 7b um, it's mid-june it's definitely still not too late to plant sweet potato slips i actually planted them around this time last year uh, this year i got started a little earlier because i plan on having lots of sweet potatoes this one see it just has a tiny little root there if you can see it so we're gonna put that one in the water and let it grow and that's all I'll take for now I might take a few more but like I said we will check back in a few weeks on those younger growths and uh, maybe later when I plant this one this evening I'll show you guys that I never really transplant anything midday because the sun is just so hot and I don't want it to uh, scorch out the plants. I actually like to plant things right before it rains so that the rainwater will settle the plants in instead of me having to put some uh, hose water on it. I will throw in some pictures of how I initially started these potatoes to sprout and this is actually a potato that I grew last year that I saved to grow split, uh, slips from this year. 
Well, we just had a fresh rain. As you can see, the wood chips are nice and saturated. So I'm gonna plant those two sweet potato slips that already have nice root sets. I'm actually going to separate these two. There we go. This is a sweet potato bed I planted quite a few weeks ago. This is another one that planted shortly after that one. Good morning guys, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on wherever or whenever you're watching this video. Welcome back to day four or five I'll put it uh, below what day it actually is after I pulled those sweet potato slips from my planted sweet potatoes Willie is out here with me on this overcast morning it is nice and cool about 70 degrees so I'm going to plant these sweet potato slips they have grown plenty of roots I'm about to turn this camera around and show you guys right now So even this small sweet potato slip that barely had any roots on it has grown a mad set of roots. So they are ready to be planted. And since it's going to be a cloudy day today, figured it would be perfect to plant them. And right now they're saying we have a 100% chance of rain tomorrow. So that will be perfect to help these settle in. So let's go out there to the garden and put these guys in. So we're in the flat garden when I planted those couple of slips the other day I planted them in the raised bed area in one of one of the raised beds I've dedicated three raised beds to sweet potatoes and what I've created here in the flat garden is a mound of organic cotton compost covered by some mulch just a light uh, layer of mulch for now and then once the plants come up I may lay down some more but Typically, we don't have a lot of weed action within the garden because we've laid the mulch so thick, uh, anywhere from a foot to 16 inches of mulch on top of our organic cotton compost that we source from a local organic cotton farm. We are very privileged to have that cotton farm nearby. It's done our garden so much good. There's so much uh, mycorrhizal fungi and just great soil health, lots of minerals and whatnot. So I've uh, laid down some cotton compost uh, about uh, a foot of soil on top of, I dug back the wood chips uh, that were here and then laid down an additional layer of about a foot of compost uh, to give the potatoes even more growing room in that loose rich soil and then like I said a light layer of mulch so I'll flip this around so you can see a little better. So if I can get the right angle here you can kind of see that it's a mound. It's laid down a little bit let's see if I can get over here and show you. It's not that visible because all the wood chips look the same but starting Right here, there's a little bit of a slope and it goes up and that's my mound. Maybe if I go this way. So it's like right here where there's a little bit more straw. 
this little rectangle area uh, is slightly above the ground level of the rest of the garden here. It's hard to see on camera, but you can kind of see the slope right here, how it goes down. So this is gonna be my potato mound, and this is where I'm gonna plant these slips that I brought out here. So I have my sweet potato slips, just a pair of gloves. Uh, let's get these babies planted. <laughs> back first you never want to plant directly in any wood chips and then just dig a little hole right here in the soil look how dark and rich that soil is and as you can see it's a little dry on top not that much but as you dig down deep it is so moist down there look look at that beautiful soil so then we'll take our slip right here and so now I've heard that you can plant these uh, sweet potato vines directly. and You could just stick them in the soil without sticking, in, sticking them in water like I did to root. But I just, uh, I like to let them root a little bit. Because uh, like I showed you in that one clip earlier, one of the plants actually had a root straight from me pulling it off the potato the planted potato and if you had stuck that in some nice soil it would have uh, rooted in the soil instead of in the water so there we go it's as simple as that I plant them about mm, a little I would say about 10 inches apart or so I've done it closer than that in the raised beds with success so right here I've got four sweet potato slips that I've planted and there's room for more so I'll probably pull some more slips in the next day maybe today because I think uh, those potatoes have already grown uh, some more vines plenty of them enough for me to pull some more so we'll do that the other day I planted these red peanut plants that I got at the local farmers market super excited about these. Planted one at each end of this little bed. It's my first time planting peanuts. And over here, one of our bulbs that we planted is, is starting to flower, which is super exciting considering that tomorrow is the first day of summer. So looking forward to seeing some beautiful pops of color within the garden. I also hung this cool solar panel mobile and it's a multicolored one. It looks really awesome at night. I'll have to get a shot of that for you guys in an upcoming video. Trying something new this year. Put some mini white cukes in a hanging basket. This side's gonna climb the trellis real nicely. I find that the cattle pa panel trellis is a great trellis for any kind of cucumber. It just seems to be the perfect amount of spacing for them to grab on. Over here we've got some baby okra going. Got a few of them planted here. June is a great month for okra. Also have a melon plant right here in one of these raised beds. Right beside it I've got squash. It's got a little baby squash growing on there. Got a sunflower coming up. Big guy right here. Some more squash. Look at those beautiful blooms on there. So the 
squash blooms or the squash flowers are edible. This sunflower over here is doing something cool. It, it split when it was pretty young into two stems. So we're gonna have a double sunflower. And these cucumbers in the raised, mini raised beds have taken off. Look at that. And they're gonna start climbing our border fence right here. But man, I'm so pleased with how these are coming along. And I've got a lot of them along the back of our garden right here, along with some more of these bulbs that we planted. This one is on its way. Look at that beautiful weave pattern. I can uh, focus in on it better for you guys. There we go. So pretty how these plants grow, these flowers. Back over here to where I planted these sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna take this water that was in the container and water these guys in a little bit before that rain comes. It's always a good idea to water your transplants shortly after putting them in. It just helps them settle in a little bit and uh, get some good hydration before they take off. And that does it guys. That's how easy it is to plant sweet potatoes. It just takes a little prep in planting a, an actual whole sweet potato in some soil and getting those vines to grow. Because if you just put a, potato, a sweet potato in the ground, it's not gonna grow more potatoes. You do have to plant that first, then take the slip or uh, you know a piece of the vine and plant that and then you'll get sweet potatoes so i hope you guys got some use out of this i'm actually going to put up some pics of my sweet potato harvest from last year so that you know that i've had success and in, um, in doing it exactly how i showed you before i go i'm going to show you a shot of uh, some cucumbers if you watched my spring garden tour a few weeks back then you saw these cucumbers when they were this big. And now, let me show you. Look at these guys. Woo! Beautiful, I will pick this today for sure. And that one will be ready soon after. But that is super exciting. And then look how prolific these cucumber plants are. My goodness down here I think I showed you this one too last video I'll put my spring garden tour link below so you guys can see these as babies and see how quickly they have grown down here I have my mini white variety of cucumber now these guys only get a few inches long and they're pale skin but uh, they are completely ready when they're um, just a little bit fatter than that. If you check out my Instagram page, I actually posted a video of, I already harvested one of these guys and made some sushi out of it. So go follow me on Instagram to see that. Man, super excited. Willie loves cucumbers too, right Will? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this information. I hope you grow some sweet potatoes of your own. They are one of the most calorie dense foods you can grow in your garden. And they are one of my favorite foods ever. I'm trying, I'm gonna try to grow some new varieties. I've grown the purple sweet potatoes and uh, your good old orange sweet potatoes. I'd love, I'd love to grow some Japanese sweet potatoes and uh, explore all different types. But please share this with somebody who might find it useful. Give this video a like, it really helps me out. Until next time, keep growing.